Bandit and Boko Haram terrorists may see super Tucano fighter jets from Nigerian military, says John Campbell. Yeah, um, the former U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, John Campbell, has made it known that um, the bandits terrorizing the country may also seize or take over the Nigerian military aircraft if they are not stopped. And we have seen it on social media how a group called the Taliban took over the Afghanistan government, how the group also seized so many United States military aircraft, the planes, and sent back their troops back to U.S. Now, the news in detail. A former United States ambassador to Nigeria, John Campbell, as one of the possible takeover of the recently acquired Super Tucano fighter jets by bandits and terrorists. Mr. John Campbell gave the prediction in the light of the fall of the Afghanistan government and the takeover of similar high-grade military jet fighter by the Taliban. The United States of America had also sold 23 Super Tucanos to the Afghanistan government to combat the Taliban, but the Taliban are now in control of at least one of the assault jets following the collapse of the Afghanistan government. Though it seems unlikely at present, there is also the potential that a Super Tucano could fall into the hands of a jihadist terrorist, citing instance of how terrorist group seize other military equipment in Nigeria. In August, a Nigerian Air Force fighter jet returning to base from a mission on the Zamfara Kaduna border crashed under intense gunfire from bandits. The pilot escaped by the whiskers, leaving the wrecked aircraft behind. The Nigerian Air Force fighter officially inducted the 6th a-29 Super Tucano fighter jet on Tuesday to aid its fight against insecurity in the country. Nigeria was said to have purchased the A-29 Tucano at about $500 million through foreign military sales program. The American embassy in Abuja had described it as the largest sales in the sub-Saharan Africa. During the injunction ceremony of the Super Tucano jets, the United States Department of Defense leader, who were also present, said that the aircraft will assist the Nigerian Air Force in their fight against violent extremist organizations, including the Islamic State's West African province. A statement by the embassy also disclosed that the United States of America is providing $36.1 million in infrastructure as support at the Kanji Air Base, where the Super Tucanos will be housed. Additionally, 64 Nigerian pilots have been trained at an American Air Force base on how to undo the aircraft. Mr. John Campbell also expressed worries on whether the aircraft will be used to combat terrorism or used against other targets such as the Biafran agitators or Delta militants. Now that the Super Tucanos are part of the Nigerian Air Force, an issue will be how they are used. Will they be used only against jihadist terrorists in the north or will there be the temptation to use them against other targets such as the Biafran separatists, the Delta militants or evil cartoon wrestlers. Broader use increases the potential for civilian casualties. A Biafran separatist movement, the indigenous people of Biafra, the IPOB, is suing to block the sale in a Washington DC court, he added. The Nigerian government at over time relied on US arms and military equipment sales to help combat insecurities. While the country battles a myriad of security challenges, critics and rights organizations oppose the sale of the aircraft to Nigeria, citing the Boharis regime constant abuse of human rights. Alright guys, um, that's it for the news now and here is my opinion. Now according to the United States Ambassador to Nigeria, John Campbell, who has emphasized that the terrorists in Nigeria may take over the military forces just like the way the Taliban did to the United States of America and their Afghanistan government. This is to tell you that there is absolutely no difference with the Taliban group in Afghanistan and the bandits, the Boko Haram terrorists we have in Nigeria. Yeah, because it is already happening. We must have seen um, a news report how some hand um, bandits had attacked a old Nigerian defense academy. So nowhere is safe in Nigeria. 
So these Taliban's had existed for over 20 years because um, they took over the power, which means that they had planned, they had plans all along. Now that uh, in Nigeria we have a uh, Boko Haram terrorists, they have been existing in Nigeria for years, and their plans are to destroy Nigeria and to take over the Nigerian military. And you know that um, once a terrorist in, is always a terrorist. Once a terrorist should take over the old military forces of any country, I am telling you that that country has already collapsed totally. And the truth of the matter is that if this Tukano that was made mention by John Campbell, who is the um, former U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, could fall into the wrong hands or maybe the hands of the terrorist group we have in Nigeria, being that um, this Tukano was purchased um, by the military forces to fight insecurities and against all these terror groups we have in the country. So if it goes to the wrong hands, they will destroy not only the military forces, they will destroy the country, they will destroy the government. And the truth of the matter is that the newly purchased um, Tucano jets by the federal government, which, are, which was worth around $500 million, won't be actually seized by the bandits and Boko Haram terrorists, but will be deliberately handed to the terrorist group in Nigeria because the terrorists have infiltrated the military forces and Nigerians are no longer safe in the hands of these so-called military forces. And we know very well that the Nigerian government have no intention in fighting terrorism. They only purchased the Tokano jet to fight the indigenous people of Biafra and the IPOB, those agitating for the division of Nigeria. And these foreign countries, they know about all this, they see everything. Because the indigenous people of Biafra have raised several alarms on these issues. Despite they have been a threat to the Nigerian government. Alright guys, uh, we have come to the end of the news. Kindly share your thoughts on the comment section below. What can you say regarding to the statements made by the former United Ambassador John Campbell over the bandits and the Boko Haram terrorists taking over the newly purchased Tukano jet that was brought to fight against insecurities in Nigeria or do you think um, bringing the Tucano jet to the country was to destabilize those agitating for their freedom who are the indigenous people of Biafra the IPOB or do you think as the Nigerian government had purchased the newly Tucano jet will it reduce the rate of high rate of insecurities in Nigeria because we already know that um, there is nowhere safe in Nigeria now whether you are rich or you are poor or you are a Muslim or you are a Christian due to these terror attacks from these terror groups we have everywhere. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and also you can as well subscribe to our other YouTube channel for more news updates at Jesus Loves You channel and Glee Info. See you next time till I come your way. Bye bye bye.